Oklahoma G. What's taking long? The app. Take my parking. Oh yeah, yeah. Did it do the thing where you got to um, uh, verify your bank and all that type of stuff? No, it was saying it can't connect, can't connect, can't connect. So I had to wait for it to connect. Uh huh. Long get me getting a fucking parking fine again, man. Bye bye. Bro, don't, uh, don't even get me started. I got a couple I need to. Anyway, anyway, it's a conversation for another day. EA, what did you say to Taser? What did you say to him? When? Just now. When he walked in? Yeah. Well done. He said, well done. Yeah, man. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> Let's start there. Well done. Yeah? Yeah. yeah right. Well done. Do you want to turn it off? Um, oh, yeah, wait one second, let me get Kiamfi. Oh yeah, I was gonna, anyway, throw out there. Vlogs? Yeah, 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 come on. I was all gonna set up Once we're done, I got, I got You're a here, so it's like, calm. I got, I got really calm. Um, so time is of the essence today a little bit. Mm -hmm. How do you feel, bro? I feel good, man. I feel very, very good. It's um, it's an amazing thing what we've done. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's an amazing thing what we've done. And um, as much as I have this weekend to rest, we're back on the road, man. The week after, so. Yeah. Back yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you know what, though? Yeah. There's, there's, um, there are things to do, um, Still, but we still got to see out the the end the end of the year, and obviously, all of what happens right now in regards to R and B and slow jams is really important because of Christmas. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To try and to try and tee up what we got planned for Christmas in it, so everything is important. But do you know what we shouldn't do? Overlook it like overlook it like yeah. it was just one of them things that we just did because. Like, just over a couple of years ago. Like, this was a thought for a while. Mm. You get what I'm saying? In different aspects. So, for example, you know, I posted it on my... I think I'm going to post it on my main page at one point, but I did it in my stories, where me and Dan was in the other studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking and about we talk about R&B, and people don't listen to R&B so much anymore. And then Dan was like, you should do an R&B event. And I was like, mm, I, I don't really know. I wasn't too sure. And then Hanif was on the, on the phone to me all the time saying, we should do one, we should do one. And then originally he was like, oh, we should do one with Dan. He was like, we should do it with Dan, we should do it with Dan. And then, then he was like, no, nah, you know, we should do it with Taser. He used to always talk about you. And he, he, he would always be like, you and Taser should do something together. And one of the ideas was like, I remember him saying, he would laugh at this actually. One of them was like, us doing a podcasting what was it, like a po podcasting tutorial thing. You know, like where we would get like people that want to start doing podcasts. So we yeah. have like a podcasting network. Oh, yeah, Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. True me and your bridgings from long time or whatnot. We pod together. You have your own pod. I got mine, but we pod together still. But I don't think people really understand how long we've known each other. They don't. At all. <laughs> at all, bro. Look, this isn't just overnight. This has been a long time coming. Yeah, exactly. Even like when with my previous event um, brand, Faded, when we first got Ministry of Sound at, um, for our first year anniversary, that was because you made the connection with H yeah. in order for me to go have the meeting with H. And then that happened. So that yeah. was what, 2012? Yeah, early. Yeah, early. And so for, uh, just for ago. people who don't know, like H is a very, very close friend of mine that I've known for a long time and my business partner as well. Um, but then, yeah, obviously, and then you, I remember you'd done an R&B thing. Yeah, so well. we, me and Matthew got a venue in Dalston called Junction House. We used to hold that. Faded there. And then we were presented with the opportunity to actually run the venue. So what we wanted to do is schedule, we wanted to build a weekly schedule. So the idea was for R&B sessions to be the Thursday night event that people come to, Friday to be in-house promoted, Saturday in-house, or if we have a Faded, and then Sunday I'm a piano. Right. But then the opening the venue took kind of longer than we expected so i started it in shoreditch at a venue called the joiner thursdays um with obviously alcohol drinks and sorry alcohol games and electric shisha from about i think the timing was 7 to 11 
So I had it going there for about, I think four or five weeks. Yeah, yeah. So that was my- I went to one of them still. Yeah, so that was my, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it was a vibe. Yeah, it was, it was, a, vibe. A, it was a nice it was little a vibe in that. So, um, and then, so that all changed, yeah? Because then obviously this thing came together. Tunde came up with a sick idea of the the flyer. Yeah, yeah, with like the old school magazine. Yeah, old school magazine or whatnot, yeah. And then we just did the first one. And like one day we'll go through the whole thing properly, yeah. But I always go back to that because, you know, at that time we had what? About 150-ish people that was there. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were people that we were just really cool with. And then some people that had just heard about it and we just did suck. Do you know what I'm saying? And I always, I'll never forget walking in there and saying to myself, ah, this could be, th we need to make change. My first thing was we need to make changes. Mm. Musically, we got to make, because what would happen is, yeah, at that point is if you book five DJs at that time, all five DJs are just going to do the same thing. Mm. Everyone's just going to revert to playing the same music or whatever. Everyone's going to do the, the same similar set. That just can't work, Brand. we got to change that. There was other things that I felt like we needed to change or whatever. But it, in that moment, I saw, okay, yeah, this could be something. So to fast forward, yeah, this like over two year period to be able to, to have the conversation about doing MOTA. Let's forget about even doing it. Having the conversation about doing MOTA was mad to me, bro. And uh, oh, can I play that voice note? What voice note? Because I can play it now. What, what did we, we did something and I sent you a voice note. I said, one day I'm going to play this back. Oh, have you got it? Of course I have it. Bear in mind, yeah, when I sent this voice note, I was gassed about something. Is it this voice note? Taser be FaceTime. No, 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 wait, wait, if I start playing the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't hot man um, up, you know. When would I have sent the voice note? How will you even know how to find it? Because I'm going to go start through, it. and I'm going to go through the files that we've sent each other. And then what, see... we've sent bare voice notes? No, no, I know, but then it will show me the, the length of the voice note. And it was a long voice note. Oh, yeah, but that, oh, no. The vo voice note I'm thinking about was definitely not about that. I can't remember you sending me a long voice note about something. Did I? Oh, I need to find this voice note. Yeah, I start voice notes by accident, bro. Oh, no, it's accident. mad. You I go just back start them like, by accident. Why is this one important? <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Like, if you could see, if it comes up as a notification, some people would be like, what the fuck? Why the hell did you start that one? Like, that's mad. But yeah. I will go on, though. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll find it. So... Yeah, the conversation about starting MOTA already as well. But I, I remember we had some back and forths about that, to be fair, too. Because my reservation about doing MOTA or doing an excursion was we got a duty of care. We're flying all of these people out or whatever, yeah. I initially wanted it to be smaller. Like that was the fight that I was fighting at the time. I was saying, I think it should be smaller. I think that, like, I wanted it to feel like a community thing i didn't want it to get lost in anything i thought like there's going to be a lot of teething problems we got to work out what the teething problems are um uh and we could do also in my head as well i felt like we could do more with smaller numbers so for example on one of the days we could have like a dinner um i'm going off the the fact that i was doing i used to do uh rjs with Richie and them lot. Yeah, Richie I remember that. Doing them. Yeah. Richie, Richie, um, part of New Rinna Roadshow, they used to do, actually it was even before, he, his dad used to do them. Like that, those excursions were going up, if you found it. Yeah, yeah, I found it, but you sent me a seven minute voice not back. Uh, I'm gonna I, remember where I was. Go on, play it. Go on, do it. Play. It. Well, do you know what part you want to play? You can't play the whole seven. That's minutes, what I'm bro. saying. So I can't. I just gotta send it to you, maybe, and just and I chop it in. Can I send it to you later? Or you just chop it in. Yeah. All right. So this is now to you, Chucks. Listen. Obviously, we started this R&B thing. It's mad. Yeah. But what's done is done in it. If we announce, not even if, when we announce that Stockholm is sold out, yeah. Understand. It's a new beginning, bro. This is new territory and we're going to kill it. I'm so happy that you, H, 
Tuns, James, Matthew are by my side going down this journey, bro. Because you got to think about it. It's now Europe that's going to be talking about, man. All the major cities in Europe are going to be talking about, man. This is big business, bro. And we're going to take it to the point where everyone and their mum is going to be waiting for a date. And remember, when we first started this, it was just London. Then we showed them last year, yo, what? You think it's just London? Man went to Bristol, Manny, Cardiff, Leeds, Brum. Smashed it there. Now this year, we're going to tell them we can go to Dublin. We can go to Stockholm. We can go to Gothenburg. We can go to Paris. We can go to Berlin. We can go to Barcelona. We can go to Milan. Do you know what I'm saying? Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Copenhagen. But a man will go to Helsinki if they want R&B, you know. Oslo and then play Budapest. Don't play. Turkey. What, brother? Man will go to all these. You don't want R&B? Me and Chucks will bring you R&B. Do you know what I'm saying? If it aligns, if it feels right, do you know what I'm saying? Boom. So what makes you think we're not going to do that? That's my question. What makes you think, not even you, Chuck, because I know you feel the same way. I'm just venting it. But what makes people think this is not going to happen? That's all I want to know. Come on, my bro. Anyway, enjoy Jamaica. Yeah, so um, the, vi- the voice note was basically surrounding something that we had done. And then, yeah, something that we had announced or we were looking to do. And then I think I sent you the voice note of, um, yo, We've done what we've done in December, but remember, we've gone from six cities to now 12, 13 cities. And I think we announced it or we confirmed it or something. And I was like, yo, yes, we've done what we've done in the past two years, but this year, different ball game. If all of the things that we have planned mm. come to fruition and work out, and it did, now we're on what, nearly 19, 20 cities yeah. before the end of the year and completed motor. Yeah, yeah, completely. I think that's what it was. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it, going back to the RJS thing, yeah, because I used to go and DJ at them them excursions. His dad used to do them before. Yeah, they, the RJS weekenders or whatnot. And ironically enough, I think the last date that the last one I did with them was in Malta, time ago, mm. time ago. But I loved how like I mean it was it probably I'm not sure the numbers that they had. They probably around six hundred, seven hundred in and around that. But I loved the fact that like when I was there, it felt very community-ish. Everyone was sort of together. Mm. And then, it, then like, the days were broken up a little bit. So, for example, there'd be an, a day party, then a night party, but then the next day, maybe it would just be a sports day. Do you know what I mean? Then maybe in the night time, there was something. Then there was a dinner. There was a comedy show. There was all of these little things there. So, in my mind, I was like, there isn't nothing like that. We should do that. I mean, it would be harder to do it with, you know, however many thousands of people. So, that I was a bit concerned about that element in it, yeah? Until we went to see the venues. Mm. When we went to see the venues, I thought, you know what? <laughs> Some of these venues are cold. Still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if we have the ability to be able to do it, like, why not do it? But do you remember what it was like when we went to go and film the ads? The wind. What? Brother. The weather. Oh, my God. I was thinking, if this is the weather that we get when we have finally fly out here oh it's just gonna it's gonna ruin the vibe man it's i get why it's windy because it's right by the water more time I and we was there in march i think but it's just like oh, how are we gonna sell this man yeah <laughs> when we went to hey do you know what is mad yeah when we went to cafe del mar the first time to go and film the ad yeah yo the wind was doing a mad uh, like it was one one it was like, what? We was there middle of the day mm. and it was like overcast. Yeah. It was overcast and hella windy. Like hella, hella windy. And we'll get to the part that there was some wind there when we was there. Tre- if you was there, times that by times that by 15. Yeah, it, the winds were... It was mental. It was, it was, what's, the, what's the say? Is it gusty? It was Gust. mental. <laughs> and it was yeah. bare dust as well because it was yeah. like, it was um, it was pushing bare dust. The, like it was, cr- it was crazy. Like bro. I've watched a lot of... Uh, videography videos yeah and a lot of these um youtubers talk about putting a dead cat on the mic because mm. it reduces the sound of wind yeah we had dead cats on our mics didn't do didn't nothing, do nothing. <laughs> nothing. didn't do nothing <laughs> what nah but it was good that trip was very very good because it was important it, we it, it allowed us to see visualize what it could look like yeah and to piggyback of what you said yeah i think from me and matthew's perspective 
we knew motor would work because we've done we did Fresh Island Croatia for about six years and it's similar. The difference is Fresh Island was a lot more hectic. So the schedule for Fresh Island was boat party twelve till three, pool party three till eight, then you have a break between eight and eleven to go do what you have to do, whether it's grab food, go have a nap, whatever. And then the club night was eleven till six AM. Four or five days straight. Back to back to back. So I'm coming from that. And that was around what? I think from about 26, 27 up until early 30s. Mm. We did that festival. Do you know what I mean? The last year I didn't do it. Like I couldn't hack it. Matthew did that yeah. by himself. Yeah. But, and attraction, we went from the first year being, I think, 3,500 people to the height when we, they had booked Chris Brown, 10,000 people on that beach, bro. Mm, 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 Do you know what I'm mm. saying? And it worked. Besides the weather, we had it with weather issues as well for like oh, three bro. years in a row. Wind, fire, storm. Brother, we suffered on that island, boy. But piggyback off that, visualizing Moa was, wasn't hard for me because we I did that. Yeah, so the reason why, I, like, and I heard that come up a couple of times, but the reason why I was not necessarily holding on to that so much was because the one fundamental difference was that this is uh, genre specific. Mm. It's genre specific. We're branding it as a genre specific thing. And also we have no artists. We don't have, we're not selling, we're not selling, um, we're not selling like a big artist coming or a big DJ coming or anything like that. People are coming solely for the, the how we've built the brand and musically how they, ex how they see it on social media. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you still trying to find that voice note, bro? Nah, nah. I need to read out something just for the for the people listening, so they don't, so they understand what like what's really going on. Because sometimes I don't really talk about it on free shots. I've realized, yeah. So the listeners on that side probably think it's, yeah, it's something that just goes on. But I need them to understand what you're saying, yeah. So this is something that was conceptualized in 2021. 2022, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine events across the whole year. 2022, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then 2023 was when I was like, no, we can do more. So then we did one, two in Jan, two in Feb, one in March, two in April, one in May, two in June, two in July, two in August, four in September, three in October, nine in November, and then four in December. That's 2023. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five in twenty twenty-three. Yeah? Twenty twenty-four now, I don't know what <laughs> what's possessed us, but January we did two. Probably. Feb, we done five. March we did four. April four. May five. June four. July five. August five. September so far we've done two but three if you include more yeah yeah well also just as off that is like one of the reasons as well where I started to think more about the numbers aspect and being cool with making it making the numbers bigger was because we was doing more cities and by doing more cities people starting to fall in love with the brand in Sweden and where everywhere else. So we will be able to pull from that too. Do you know what I mean? Um, but again, it's just the fact that it was music specific, genre specific, should I say. And it was just a light concern that like, how would we, how would we do that? And, and I know that that pressure was gonna be on me because I'm the one who is the stronger advocate for making sure that the integrity of R&B is fully there. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like. I, when we, when there were conversations in the group about, you know, bringing in this brand or do it, doing that party with somebody and doing this collaboration and all of that, that made me feel very uncomfortable because I'm like, nah, there's a way that we can do it. There's a, that's not to say in my head, I'm like, of course, we're not going to play R&B and slow jams the whole day, all day. There will be ways that we can um, fit different stuff in or whatever. Yeah. But we just got to be smart about it. I just didn't feel comfortable with having, it's ours, and then we bring in another brand, and then they're doing something, and then like, 
nah, none of that in my mind makes sense to me. The only thing that made sense in regards to bringing another brand was the pre-party. And if we're going to bring in another brand, why don't we just do family? Yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. w- why would we go anywhere else and do something? We got a whole, we got family. We might as well just do that. Couldn't we even bring back Faded if you want. And there you go. A hundred percent. But then anyway, um, just going back to the advert, yeah. So see that whole, all of that weather there? We was there for three days, yeah. We went everywhere, filmed bare stuff, tried to film all of the venues we did. We filmed a lot of venues and all of that, yeah. In that shit weather. And then on the day we was leaving, guess what happened? Weather was banging. Woke up in the morning, the weather was beating. The sun was outside immediately, eight o'clock in the morning. Yo, I think we need to, all of that, the two days that we was there before. Scrap that. Scrap that. We need to get up early in the morning, quickly get ready, yam some food, touch the road, <laughs> drive everywhere. I think that's how I got all them fucking tickets, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a lot yeah. of tickets. I got a lot literally, of that was before our flight, flying back, before, nah, let's quickly just, Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, could yeah. you go to certain locations, film, 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 whatever. The wind was still winding, but the sun was proper like out there. So the colors, everything looked good. And it was yeah. like, all right, cool. And then when we finally announced the- um, Tickets went out on sale when we was there as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Tickets I, went out on got sale. Footage. Yeah, tickets went out on sale when we was there. Then we could see the, um, the numbers of the people, like things selling that and this, that and the fourth. Yeah, it was that that part of it, crazy. And then all of, all of it, the rest of it was just like, preparing um, what we were gonna do next. Like the DJs, the DJ aspect of it, um, like what DJs we was gonna bring. And like, I think in my my mind, I'd made a draft of the DJs that I thought would be good to come there and play. Ultimately, that ended up being a bit of a rush because I'm not always the best, most organized. I got things going on. <laughs> I, I, do you know what it is? Sometimes I just throw shit in the group and then if you if if everyone says yeah cool then all right cool then we'll go from it but if I throw something in the group and then and then the conversation changes I change with the conversation and then I'm not even thinking about what I posted mm. in there after that I'm just on to something else and then I'm in another group doing whatever it is that I'm doing do you get what I'm saying the so before you know it unless somebody rings me and says yo need a passport I'm just probably not going to use my initiative to go and get people's passports I'm just going to just crack on until the person who's handling that handles that. So then that ended up being a rush. But though, I lie, we, I, I feel like we just had the sickest group of DJs, bro. Listen, when it, I know you're going to touch on it more in depth. So can I, let me just say what I need to say and then Chucky will take it to a different journey because he's the one that creates the... Um, musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Obviously, I, I, I... So how can I explain it? So I want people to understand that this isn't... The R&B that we're creating isn't about whether you know the tunes or not. Whether you know it or not, you're still a learn. You're still gonna come and learn, yeah. Because Chucky might play a tune that is good to him, but it's it's an opportunity for you to be like, okay, wait, I like that song. What song is that? There's there's that element too. Because I saw Bear Man in Mo uh, Shazamin by the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yo, because remember, you're in a vi- you're in a situation where you're vibing with a girl. It's a nice little moment. She's singing the hell out of this song, and you're there like, wait, what song is this? Because you you like you now like the song. You have a moment with the song. Mm. Man, I'll go to the speaker. Yo, one sec. Because it would be nice for us to do like a little 25 track playlist yeah, yeah, of yeah. Mota, just to let people know that these were the rhythms that you probably heard across the um, weekend. But then I remember back in the day listening to R&B and it was like, you don't know about my playlist. And it's like, bro, you didn't write the song. Relax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not your tube. Like, don't gatekeep your playlist. Yeah. Put it out there. But that was the culture back in the day because more time we were burning CDs and it was like letting the babes know that this is your R&B. You. Yeah, this is one for, I found for you. you know what I mean, yeah. whereas now it's just about learning, man. Like, let's just put it out there. So, with the DJs that Chucky um, brought with us, yeah, can't lie. There's certain times at the event where I'm like, this makes sense. Yes, mm. let me shout them out. Yeah, Ray D, Dan Hills, who is also a videographer, bro. We'll get to that part in a bit. <laughs> Shorty Bless, Donch, Reckless, Hooli. Um Jukes. and Jukes, yeah, yo, and and listen, like I want to give a special shout out to Ray D. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say that she's the one that I had in mind when I said what I said. I want to give a special shout times. out to her, yeah. And I sat down with her and I spoke to her about this afterwards. She, for the most part, did a lot of the warm up. She was the one who the first to play, um, a lot of the time. But her that time there, even though there's people just coming in there just finding their feet, they're just relaxing or whatever, yeah? 
where you're doing something so genre specific, yeah, you want to cover all spectrums of R and B, but you also want to make sure that the day and the night is paced properly, musically paced properly. The reason why I say this is because, from my experience, there's a psychological aspect to this. You know, if you get that bit wrong, if you get that bit wrong and you pace it wrong, the the percentage of the people that have come early by the time it gets to a certain point of the day they will start feeling lethargic because they almost feel like they've heard everything and like it just can start getting a little bit boring for them but if you pace it right you keep getting you keep hitting a different notch each time until you get to the climax of it do you get what i'm saying so that her starting that and setting that pace is so important and there were so many times where we're like i'm listening to her play and i'm like she is drawing for some absolute stone cold certified perfect rhythms for this time of the day. Mm, yeah. And I wanted her to know this is not going unnoticed. She is the perfect person to be able to do that and set that type of pace. It's, that was a really in, um, important component to what we was doing. And I needed her to understand that we value that in a major, major, major way. Because naturally, as a DJ, like, you know, there becomes a point where, you know, you want to play a little bit later. Do you know what I mean? You want to get a little bit of this, that, and the thing and whatnot. And she will, and she has, because when we took her to Copenhagen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we, she's like one of the roster, she's like, we've got, we've almost got a roster of DJs that we can just go to, and, um, and, you know what I mean? Like, well, if we're going somewhere, we can just put them or whatever, yeah? And we trust them. But we really, really trusted her, so... Yeah, man. I just wanted to like shout. Out. I really wanted to shout her out, Huli as well. When yeah, it's time to host, Huli <laughs> on the microphone is just world class with it, bro. Listen, I want to mention Shorty as well. Big up Shorty. There was I've known Shorty for years. I remember when Shorty used to play at Diva Lounge. Mm. You know what I'm saying like, we go way back. Dreams. So Shorty's always been my DJ. He's probably going to be a DJ that plays at my wedding. Yeah. There was one. I want to speak about a, a night just so people can gain how passionate. Me and Chucky are about this, yeah? We did a night at Toy Room. Anyone who was at Motor will understand. We was at Toy Room, yeah? And it was a bit tight. Sardines off. We'll get to like, that. Sardines we'll off, yeah? But there was a few things happening that wasn't going to plan, yeah? And I'm walking around. We're walking around trying to fix certain things, put out fires here, do all that stuff, yeah? And I got, then I was like, you know, I'm going to the DJ booth. I just need 20 minutes of myself. I'm in the DJ booth, yeah? And I'm looking over at the crowd and I'm like, the, the pace is a bit too slow for the time that it is. So, something's up. I said, Shorty, you good? Shorty looked at me like a zombie. He was tired. I get it. But th that's not the reason why. His laptop time was, was wrong. wrong. Yeah. So he was an hour. He's thinking it's, He's thinking 1 it's 1 a.m. Yeah. When it's 2 a.m. Yeah. So as a DJ, he was trying to pace the night because it's 1 a.m. Right. I'm like, no, it's not 1 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so I, when Chucky I, yeah, spoke to him, I Chucky was like, bro, like, you know, like, we need to kind of, Chucky, Shorty's Shul, like, no, I'm doing my job. I got this, I got this. He's like, then Shorty's looked at the time. He's like, oh, shit. Give it about five, six minutes. Boom, a couple tunes, couple chop. Boom, he boom. pivoted. He pivoted. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I look back in the crowd. Everyone's vibe, vibe, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. what happened is, yeah, the, yeah. Like, the, 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 yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, well, so we'll just go there, innit? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, might as well. The the one teething problem that we had was the last venue, which was Toy Room, yeah. And it was there was a we don't want to say there was a capacity issue, but it was really, really tight. And we thought when we we actually thought that when, when we, we went, went there, there yeah, the, we said it. when we went there in March. The, the owners of the club are saying, oh, we can fit like 2,500. And me and Taser was kind of like, can you? Like where? Like yeah. But they're looking at it like, you know, if people can be upstairs in the VR, they can be here, they can be there, whatever. And we're like, okay, we're just trusting them mm. with that information, yeah? And you know what the maddest thing is? They did raise an interesting point earlier on in the, in the time that we was on that trip. They were saying they have their certain capacity, yeah, that they go by. But he said that one thing that they noticed, which I thought was quite funny, when they had DLT, yeah, they were like, oh, the, the, the crowd are bigger. So like the men, like he was like, the men are like, the, so a lot of the men that are going are a lot bigger than what they're used to. So there's like a lot of men that are going at six foot three, going gym, six foot seven. And you get what I'm saying? Like the, 
people there are just a little bit more <laughs> bigger. We, we, got, we got Akin Femme and <laughs> them man there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know we got them, man. So they, for them, like, they're, they're like, I think maybe in, like, generally, they're like smaller people and they, like, with house as well, you can t- make people a lot more tighter and they unseen, unseen, and you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Our thing is a little bit different. So that does take away a little bit of the space. And also we do like to have a bit of space yeah. too. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So wanna... in stature, even though people are, might be a bit bigger or whatnot, yeah, with that, you still want your space too. So you're taking up an element of capacity. And with that now, with Toy Room, it ended up just being like, <laughs> it was just, like, people were panicking. People were like feeling, I think also as well, you know, like it's been a long weekend. Yeah, the last thing that they want is to go to a place and not feel like there's a bit of space where they can die. And it, that was understandable. And also on top of that, musically, it was getting in a bit of a weird space. So I spoke to, to Shorty and I was like, yo, you're going to need to pivot a bit. And then he was doing it a little bit, but he was not getting there. And I'm saying to Shorty, yo, no, I, this is what I need you to... And then I know, because he, he knows how passionate we are about the pacing of a night, yeah? I know that he initially must have been thinking, why is like why is he telling me to do this so early? It's one a.m., bro, relax. Bro. And I'm saying to him, bro, it's nearly two. And he's saying, it's nearly two. Then he's looked and he's like, oh, yeah, cause, my cause, laptop's cause, saying. Because funny enough, before you went to speak to him, Chucky was like, Taser, what time is it? And I said two. He's like, exactly, I know what I'm saying. Why is Chucky, why is um, Shorty still in gear it's two, mode. for yeah, example? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's obviously, he was an hour behind. So you can see that even us in real time, we, we can like, I can be at the back of the rave He's mixed something. I'm like, that's not, that's not mm. right. I got to find myself to the DJ booth. Like, oh, was that a strategic it. move or? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got to correct it. And then what ended up happening was, yeah, a section of people left. One maybe because it was just too busy in there and they just left. And there was a percentage of people that just had flights mad early in the morning. Their flight was at seven in the morning or whatever. So a lot of them had gone. And once that had happened, and my man pivoted and then he set it nice for Jukes because I didn't play it that one. It just like, it then just started to become nice. That's why I grabbed the microphone as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I could see it was just in a bit of a weird space and I'm getting into pivot, I'm grabbing the microphone and I'm doing shit and I'm, you get what I'm saying? Getting it, helping it to get there. And then once it got there, it was just, it was nice. so nice. It felt like an injection. You know when you just get a rush of like vibe? It felt just like everything is, cause, and then you looked back in the crowd and there was a bit more space. Yeah. One, because I think people felt like, they couldn't go VIP. So I think when we made it known that, no, you can go in VIP, mm. the idea is really, because that, that was frustrating me as well. People were saying to me like, yo, you look vexed, what's wrong? What's going on? When you keep moving around, it's causing a bottleneck in certain places because you keep, me- it's like you're trying to get into VIP, then you realize you can't get into VIP or you've gotten into VIP. Now you want to go get your other five girls, but the table's already, re- like there was just too much movement going on. People trying to find the base. So when Chucky took the mic and said, listen, you don't go VIP and chill there. So then it got to the point where bare people going VIP. I'm seeing in the group chat that. Like, Yo, VIP's ram, man. Chucky, stop you saying come that. VIP. <laughs> <laughs> so everything was happening. It's like we were, we were getting feedback in real time, which was actually sick. And we were adjusting to the best we could. But that was the only time we had a re- really had a, like a, a teething problem at any of the events. All Other the than that. Just, Big up to all those, this was the next thing, yeah. So people were staying at Bora Bora. I remember before there were some people that were like a little bit disgruntled that they couldn't stay at Bora Bora. And I was saying to them secretly, I'm not going to lie to you, in terms of comfort, that Best Western Hotel there is cold. It's the name, you know. It just sounds yeah. like a, like a one of them free, yeah, two yeah, star, yeah. three star hotels. Yeah, but, it yeah. does sound like that. But listen. Bro, Best Western, Western Hotel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was sick. It was sick. And we went, when we went to Malta in March, that shit wasn't even built. Yeah, bro. We only saw, they had, bro, it was literally just fucking, it was like bricks and water, so essentially, what, you know with one showroom. You know, there's other brands that have done the motor thing and exact same things happen where come the date that they're supposed to go, but their punters have gone there, there's no hotel. No. But the hotel had six rooms. They said, yeah, yo, yeah, big man. man, what'd you mean? So they had to re, like, they had to basically get everyone new bookings. But my thing is what, you didn't know this was going to happen. Like, at some point, you realize, <laughs> like you, at some yeah. point you realize, like, think about it. Okay, let's say, for example, yeah, we have sold all the rooms at Best Western, but the guys at Best Western know, but 
Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> By the time you lot come here, it's not happening. At what point should they have told us in yeah. order for us to make adjustments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's a nice window? I would say if you booked six months before and they found out five months, no, but we announced in March. No, we went to see it in March and they were telling us it'll be ready by September. Yeah. So that's what? Six months. Yeah, and there was nothing. Realize. There was... was the, I, 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 didn't see, I didn't go because I, I missed my flight. You missed his flight, <laughs> yeah. We went, in, we went there, bro. It was literally, bro. You're going, it was just a building site, bro. It was a building site. So six just, months. They just had one showroom in there. For you to get there, you had to walk through the whole building site to get into that one room. It was mad, but when I went in the room, I was like, "Yo, this is a, this is banging." And we were staying at Bora Bora, huh? Yeah, we no, we stayed. <laughs> we... <laughs> That's in your mirror. We we, but bear in mind, we didn't know what we were walking into. <laughs> Big man, I walked into my room. I couldn't believe what was going on in there. I couldn't believe it. Ceiling, I mean, a, a mirror on the ceiling. Yo, Big ja- jacuzzi, jacuzzi, you know? that. And yeah. you see the way that the um, you see the way that the shower was in my room. Yeah, the shower was like, you don't section, like, it's not sectioned off, you know? It's just like. Oh, just walking the deck. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's walking, it's just kind of dead. Like, there's just mirrors there. So it's like, just basically, the best way to describe it is like, you see where the jacuzzi is? Picture the jacuzzi in the room, yeah, in the corner of the room. And let's say you're sitting in the jacuzzi. If you look right in front of you, then you would see somebody in the shower just, just having a shit. Like, it there's no looks privacy. Really romantic and sexy yeah. at the same time. Yeah. It's like very romantic and very sexy at the same time. It's not a toilet with a shower, it's a shower with a toilet. It's a, it's a jacuzzi with a shower, It's bro. a jacuzzi with a shower, bro. <laughs> you don't even see the toilet. That part there, they're like, nah, you could, that's, you don't even see, like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Even, but, even, even, even the thing, you gotta think about it, yeah. it was very strategic, the small things that I started figuring out as we're going ahead. There was a picture in the corner here, bro. The picture gave away eight different images. Like what, yeah. what I yes. saw, what Chucky saw, yeah. was was mad. But all eight images was something kinky. Yeah, <laughs> brother, he's well. The floor, the laminate, the lamination on the floor. You definitely know there's bare juices flowing on this yeah. floor, and you can wipe it down easy. Yeah. Even the chair, remember the sofa? He, he had built the wooden yeah. thing because he's like, I know bare bums have been on here, man. Staining up the things. <laughs> Hey, the room's so kinky, yeah. There's a part of you that's thinking, is someone watching, man? In there? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, did they plant, plant a camera in this in here or what, what not? Like, it's, hey. like, it's mad. The, the but um, is... H Hotel, big them up, though. So, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It was good. I had food there as well one of the days. Um, but Cafe Del Mar, the first oh, one. Brother. Cafe Del Mar, that venue there, crazy. Crazy. Yeah. When, when we turned up there, yeah, and just saw it with the people inside it, Mad. Bro, mental, absolutely mental. And that party there was so sick. It was such a sick way. It was such a sick way to start that experience. Mm. Such a sick way. Like, but as typical, it was windy. It was windy. No yeah. one got in the pool. No one got in the pool. And we didn't get to do the fireworks um, on that because the wind, it, was the, it wasn't just because it was windy. It was the direction of where the wind was going yeah. as well. Had we have done the fireworks, that would have just been an absolute nightmare. But I can lie, you just remind me, now that you mentioned fireworks, I have to say this, yeah? I'm gonna say it to the camera. Listen, there's a video that oh. we're gonna drop, yeah? I promise you, it might be the best. Okay, put it as this, yeah? When 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 we watched the video, I swear there was a tear dropping out of Chucky's, Chucky's eye. I couldn't believe This it. video was so organic, yeah? Cause it wasn't planned. Like, I, I don't know how we got the shot, but. <laughs> We made Martin look mental. That was at Jean Paul. That was the next day at yeah. um, the next night party in that. Yeah. Main um, main character syndrome. Main character where syndrome. People yeah. just dressed as a their favorite nineties or noughties look. Oh my god! Dan caught this footage of like, so I'm playing this tune or whatnot, and then he flies the drone out, and then you see the fireworks and the name on the thing and all the of oh my god, the, the crowd. No. But it looks crazy that shot there is selling out more next year it's crazy facts it's crazy it's crazy Dukes played Dukes came on and played some ri- let me tell you something. do you know what let me tell you something yeah I know that sometimes don't get me started on this yeah but sometimes that like, you hear like what was it it was that main character syndrome yeah in the whatsapp group because we had the community whatsapp group yeah 
So I'm saying, tonight, I only want to hear Escape. <laughs> I only want to hear Tony Braxton. And it's like, all right. You know, I already know how this thing goes already. In it, mm. yeah. I understand it. Like, I get it. Yeah, Some people want to hear the deeper cuts and whatnot, yeah. They definitely 100 million percent get played. Naturally, there's 2,500 people there. If we spend two hours of doing that, you you see what happens after 10 minutes of me doing mm. it. There's an art to be able to, to do it, to, make, to have everyone engaged, yeah? My thing is, when I do it, you better just show up then. Yeah. When I'm doing it, you need to be the one to really show up. But yeah, when you've got 2,500 people in there, there's a, a, a way that you need to have to, like, to balance that and get that going. And I remember saying to myself, especially after that night, yeah, don't make me get the DJ's playlist and all of that, yeah, and start posting that online, you know, of like what actually is being played for mm. the day. Because when you start seeing the depth and the range, that was what I put, when, we, when the DJ, when I put the DJ group together on WhatsApp, yeah, you saw what I put in the group. Yo, like, use your range. You're here because you've got that. Use your range and use your common sense. You know what I mean? That's all you need. And that will take us through properly. Yeah, and they and everyone did that in the perfect way. Jukes came, he came there on the Saturday and whatnot. He played before me, and he he kept the pace different to how we usually have it before I I I, I jump on. But the the pockets of where he's going and the rhythms that he's dropping at the time and whatnot, yeah, he's not panicking. You give you just give me a piece of um, you just give me an idea to sh uh, for a piece of content. You know, right. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go link all the DJs at some point within the next month or two and sit them down and just ask them questions about their experience in Mota. But the aim is to get their top five songs that they played or they felt like was different. That was- Do you know what I loved? When Shorty played um, at Med Asia, he played Part Time Lover by H Town. Hey, oh, what? wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I've got a video here of a girl singing her heart. She's right by the DJ booth, yeah? Yeah. So you play that tune, she lost her mind. Right. And I was, I was just standing there filming her. She And she was moving as if the camera weren't there. It looked yeah. so sick. But then, the, I, I don't know if I moved the camera because I saw you come to the DJ booth and do that. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know if I got it. it on camera. Right. But yeah, 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 big tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. All of, like, all of the concern about, like, oh, uh, yeah, remember when people, people were coming up to her? This is the next thing, yeah? So like, on Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday, yeah, a couple guys, yo, Taser, Chucks. So, what, like, this is in the morning, yeah? So what's the, so what's the, like, musical policy for tonight, <laughs> like, today? My answer to it was, do you know what? You see, come, you see that thing, that pink thing up there? What is that, what is that, what does that say up there? It's true though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says R&B and slow jams. So, so I'm being slow jams. Listen, something else might get played, but it might not. Though. Yeah, if you hear anything, it else, might, but it might not. If you hear anything else about R&B and slow it's jams, a it's a bonus. bonus. That's because I felt like throwing it in there. Like, yeah, but. it's a bonus. We just feel like it in that moment, but w that's what we're here for. So you know, you can stay if you want. If you don't want to, if R&B and slow jams isn't your thing, you know what to do. Yeah, we what we do, <laughs> what we do. Is in the name of the brand. You know when people say, "Oh, but you know, like it might, you might be able to market it to other people if you play other John." What are we doing it? Listen, take if your you don't want to come, don't Oi, come. Don't, take don't. it. Oi, take your marketing <laughs> and stick it in your ass lips. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like you can bring a different. Take oh. your marketing and rub it around your ass lips. If you How about that one? If you don't like R&B and slow jams, it's cool. Just don't come. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Bro, this is so funny, you know, people it's try to in give you it. advice. It's not, like, it's not like, we don't have a brand that is called, I don't know, let's just say like it's called uh, Laptop, yeah. right? The night's called Laptop. So then when we, it's called Laptop, but we play r and Slow Jams. Now, if the night's called Laptops, but we just play r and and Slow Jams, you might turn up and say, you gonna play anything else? Like, because, you know mm. what I'm saying? On that Laptop. Yeah, no, nah, I know, yeah, no. It's called Laptop, but yeah, we do just play R&B and Slow Jams. But we might play something else. It's not like that. The night and the brand is called R&B and Slow Jams. It's not called Laptop. It's not called fucking Speaker. <laughs> it's not called Guitar. 
It's not called, you get what I'm saying? Do, do you know what it's like? It's and called <laughs> R&B and slow jams. Do you know what it's like? And Chucky's gonna, it's, you, might, you might have to cut this out. I don't, I don't really care though. But it's like other brands. I see other brands doing R&B nights, yeah? Or doing a spin-off and adding R&B heavily. So like r and now top of the genre list. You know how you do genres that would be played and it used to be hip hop, bash with r and is now a bit higher. Cool, no problem. There's some that's solely R&B now, R&B branch or R&B this, that's what they're going with. The video's on Instagram, but I'm hearing Jay Huss. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see what I done? Is the music that you're using to promote your R&B event. You see it on our R&B page. You see on our R&B <laughs> you know, like, like, you see, you see page. That, I'll, I'll make sure that none of that, like see the interval periods and that, ain't none of that get posted on, on our thing. None of it. And also to anyone that does see it, don't ever get this twisted. The interval periods are so short. It's such a small part of the night. I and the day. up on that. I had to start pulling you up with that though. Why? Because we started off doing half an hour intervals now, brother. You could barely get five minutes. You could barely get five minutes. Uh, people, it, look at, people look at it like. What, what, what's funny, yeah, is people looking at it like this, yeah. Bro, Chucky, you're DJing for two and a half hours. I'm like, you don't think this is work. That's why. So, so the idea is to shorten Chucky's set. No, he wants to be there. You're not looking at this differently. He's having a great time and, and on you know the when stage. You, when you, when you, there's a part in a set usually, um, st- I don't, like some people will be able to relate to it, but it's like stylistically, depending on the way that you play, there'll become a moment in the set where you're like, I got everyone. Mm. There's other times when you're like, okay, I've got to work here. You know, that's happened. That, that's happened. That even happened one time in, in Malta, but well, that, I'll, I'll, skip, I'll skip that part. But like, it was like, you come on and you're like, okay, the where it is is in an interesting place, and I need to figure out what my next two hours look like, yeah, because how I had it in my head isn't how it's gonna be for now. So I've got to find this groove. Then once I find the groove, once I've got it, there's a moment when I know I've got it now. And then once I've got it, and I'm in. And stylistically, without to sound funny, bro, I think that that has been. What there's so many different components to why we are where we, where we are. One can never dismiss the artwork. That that the artwork is so appealing. Yeah. Two, the way we've marketed elements of it. Um. Uh. The, the other brains behind this. The efficiency behind it. Like you know, Louis and and Matt in particular. They're when it comes to the admin stuff, they're just on that. They're just so on it. As you have to, I have to big them up for that. There's so many different elements, but I tell you a real key component as well, yeah, is stylistically how the music is played. In that main set, the way I, I've realized that sometimes when people come to R&B and slow jams, they want to be a part of that moment that they see on social media. And that is created a certain way. And very, very, very few people can play like that. The reason why that style is so important to me is because I'm Jamaican and I grew up around sound system culture. So I've always tried to take elements of sound system culture and do it into what I'm doing. Bro, you've known me for so long. Remember back in the day when all them city raves were going on and whatnot? I was playing like that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was what we just did. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm that was what a lot of us did. I'm we- Jamaican by housing, so I get it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you see that, but um, but yeah, listen, anyway. Big up all of the DJs anyway on top of that. But yeah, stylistically, musically, I just felt like that part of it went really well and I'm so like happy about the the type of people that we had there too do you get what I'm saying like there were some people that came on their own um there were some that came with just groups of friends and they were just like they were all just there to just be in a vibe <laughs> yeah I never think that's funny yeah this is just <laughs> yeah I literally just thought about this yeah I think for some people it must feel mad though because you know like when you look at someone yeah and you yeah. think they should look a certain way because of the the attention they demand. This is me being silly, by the way. So you know when you look on the stage and you see Chucky, but Chucky's so small. Yeah. And it's like, but how is he command commanding this attention? <laughs> this power. Look I think that, like, that Chucky's so small. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> no, but it's true though. Like, like, no, it's true though. I, I remember <laughs> our net, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. When, when, when we That's do, it. when That's we, when we so do, so nah, when, when we do, <laughs> How are you gonna do me like that? No, bro? man. When we do the two, when we do the <laughs> venues, there. No, 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 no. When we do the two venues, where it's two tiers, yeah. So I go upstairs and I look and I look at the crowd and everyone's just looking at Chucky. I look at Chucky, just vibes it, beating his chest. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. I'm just like, this guy, man. 
It's so sick, man. It's sick, bro. It's sick, yeah, man. It's man. such a sick thing. It's cool, big dick energy, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know and then you'll say something right? dumb like, yeah, I like it with socks off. Yes. <laughs> I love it when she talks to me like that. Yeah, do that. Yeah, talk to me like that. Yeah, if you like it, I love right it. Right then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it's a yeah, vibe, man. I'm confident sick, in my thing, man. So I just translate that into that and just, you get what I'm saying? Just do that. But but yeah, um, yeah. Jean Poula was a, oh, big up um, Gina as well. Oh, yeah. Listen, the, the um, yeah, workout. Yeah, the Beats and Man's thing oh, on a Saturday. Was six. Fun, it was Bro. sick. She she was shocked. I spoke to her. She was like, obviously grateful for the opportunity, and I just she didn't know um, how it would play out. Didn't know how many people would come, all that stuff. But when we got there, even me, I was all, I was all like faffing about like, oh yeah, I might come. It's early. Da, 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 da. And after a while, I was like, hold on, I booked you for a reason. Mm. I'm not working out, but I'm gonna be there because I want to take pictures and I want to see it, see how it works. Because someone explaining it to you. It's not the same as you actually seeing it and seeing how it works. And 100%, I don't care what Gina's doing. As soon as we confirm the date for 2025, Gina, these are the dates you're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was a big advocate for that one. Yeah, yeah, 100%. She might even get like two sessions because I think the first one, I think a lot of the girls that, sorry, a lot of the people that attended it probably stayed in Bora Bora. So Mm -hmm. ideally, I want to give the experience to Best Western or whatever other hotel that we do. So this morning... If you want to come from another hotel, you can, yeah, yeah. but you have the option to just stay in your own hotel, go down, train, and then go back to your room or go to gym. And then the next day or whatever, however we decided to create a schedule, but there'll be another opportunity, 100%. I think she has to do two. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good way to break it up. So yeah, in sick. the morning, people were there and then like, people were just looking out on their balcony, just Seen, watching. Is it, it was very entertaining as well. Yeah, the way she does it. Came yeah, bro, yeah, she there. thought maybe 20 people would sign up. That's what she thought. Because it's like... I don't even know the final numbers. I think it was, it's hundreds, though. Yeah, there was there was a lot of people there. There was a lot of people. I think it was and that whole little space, that whole space there, was filled up with people that were training. Because remember, you need space in it. You've been moving around and whatever else. So yeah, like and then then she played games afterwards and that uh, press up competition. Um, uh, Shout out my man though. Ninety five press ups. Ninety five. Pre- his. I'll be honest with you. His last five was techie, but I, last <laughs> You're six, done. his last six was techie. But I gave it to him still because he was going. Ma- so let me tell you something. Yeah, he was hurting my wrist. He was hurting my wrist because he was slamming his body down on my. And I was thinking, fucking. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, even that's even mad. the picture you don't yeah, took. You know, I don't know, bro. Where you you, you want to say underneath, man? He's like, yo. Yeah, it was it was mental, but he was like I don't know how like it was it was mad. Ninety five in a minute. Was he like? Was he like nah, he definitely nah. does calisthenics, man. Okay, he must. He, he has to. Yeah, he must. Ninety five. Do you know what ninety five is? Crazy. So it's like he was basically nearly every second. He was just. What do you mean? Ni- ninety five. Yeah. It, oh yeah. Oh shit. Bro, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah he's nearly he's doing. Going, yeah, that's, that's bro. One point five percent. Come on, man. That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> Minus the six that you said was, was the, yeah, yeah. Was I think yeah. the, the I think the um the other person higher after that was like what was it eighty two or was it like late seventy or some shit? Like, like doing the number is mad in itself, but to do it in a minute, mm. yeah, no. shit and flipping now a minute, yeah, over a minute and yeah, that's mental. Yeah, yeah, because it might I don't know why I kept thinking that he was doing it for like two minutes or whatever, but like flipping now it was a minute each time, mad. Yeah, big him up anyway. Um, what else was there? Well, there was some rumors and some foolish one. Oh, yeah, you mean now we have to. So, um, so there was a big, there was a big, um, conversation with like the man name in regards to like where we should stay. Okay. Yeah. So obviously you'd expect us to stay in the hotel package in, in the hotel that we're offering packages. Like it's just convenient. Take a couple of rooms, do your thing. But then I was very adamant that I do not want to stay where the masses are staying. Not because I don't want to stay with them. It's just, if anything does go wrong, we're going to have this conversation and it's going to be me and Chucky that's disgruntled. Everyone else is going to be calm because you lot are calm. But essentially, if something happened and it's like everyone's... Like, for example, someone's breakfast was cold. Next minute, my door. Knock at Chucky's door. Nah, that's... (laughs) Like, what? Wrong. Come on, man. But I'm not saying that it would happen, but if it did happen, that would piss off Chucky. Because that's not, that's not, what do you want me to do? Go start whipping up eggs. Like, come on, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that, that, those are the kind of things that I thought of. Obviously, there's other reasons as well, but we don't need to get into that. Anyway, we decided to book the H Hotel. Boom. 
Bear in mind, when we booked that, we didn't know there was a jacuzzi. I think Louis upgraded us. Shout out yeah, Louis. Yeah, big up Louis. So I'm saying, so, cause we, cause I was adamant in doing that, when this voice note hit my phone, I was like, what are we doing here? So anyway, apparently there was an after party at our hotel. So because it was at our hotel, it meant me and Jackie were there. And all of a sudden, people are saying like, yeah, went to an after party, hosted by Taser and Chucky, blah, blah, blah. And we're having free coughs. These times, he's in his jacuzzi eating grapes. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, and I'm in my room editing. So I'm like, wh- why are people saying this? Or like, why are you going out saying that you went to an after party, you missed your flight the next day because apparently me and Chucky were we hosting had them a party? There. Yeah, it's mad. It's, it's mad to think that people just get up and just had a lie. Like, like it's mad. We just had just had bit anyway, man. But it was different. It was different pockets of people that was sharing the information. So it was just like we said we're gonna talk about it in the pod and just address it. That yeah, yeah. Stop lying, man. Just just say where you went. You went to the H Hotel, cool. You went to an after party, cool. But it was not hosted by me and Chucky. Huh. It weren't. Me and Chucky were not there. Things things for next time though. Um, I would I would reinforce the themes stronger. Which ones? So say like the ones that we did. So say like, um, say that's the soiree or the main character syndromes and it be on a vibe of like, listen, if you are not dressed accordingly, your wristband is not going to be, it's not going to be valid. Do you like know that? Yeah, I would go as far as that. You know why? Because I'm going to maybe take this part out quickly. But if we do an all white party, at Cafe Del Mar on the last one. I don't want people coming there in not white. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. it would just look a little bit mad for the people that have made the effort. An effort yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And people made effort. Like, in Soiree, people was, like, dressed up yeah. and whatever, and, like, people did the main character thing, but there was still a lot of people that... There was loads of people that came and didn't even know what the fuck... They didn't even know that there was themes. Yeah. They just, Some they, people came and didn't not didn't know. They just heard more. There was even a, there was even a group of guys, yeah, not to expose them, but when we did... Medasia, yeah, they didn't have wristbands, so they would they they just sat on top by <laughs> the they? entrance the whole event. They could hear the music, they could see the vibes, but they weren't in there. <laughs> they, just, yeah, they, just all, they just chilled. I hear it though because at the end of the day, the people that are making the effort are the ones that we're technically catering to. One of the mandem, yeah, his little brother was out there, <laughs> yeah, and he he messaged me yesterday. He's like, Taser, my little bro said he met you. He's gassed, telling me he's never received this much love from black women as as much as he did in Moa. Oh, I love that. That was sick. When I read love that, I was like, that. yeah, that is cold. Love it was that. just a nice vibe. Everyone everyone was everyone was pretty, man. It was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone man. looked good. The sun, you know looked, the sun, sun looked, looked good, good. On, on, on everyone, really. And like, <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm like, I'm very proud of what we've done and what we how we've managed to do it. And naturally, that not, it's nothing's gonna be perfect. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's gonna we're gonna have a little bit of there's gonna be some mistakes made. Obviously, what happened on the last um event wasn't ideal it wasn't ideal um but it was just one of those things and i i think matthew kind of put it quite quite good actually he was just like listen the majority of people are reasonable people most people will come sit experience what they've experienced and they will say that they've had a most people say they have they would have a really good time of course like there was a one thing that maybe wasn't as great but or wasn't as comfortable but all in all the feedback or whatever would be really positive. And then the rest is just going to complain. They're just going to complain anyway. I think it's important to note that there's always going to be people that their perception of things are going to be different and not everyone is going to have a great time. And that's fair. And I think it's important to listen to those people too, to find out like, why is it that you felt a little bit uncomfortable? Although the only thing that you can do in a situation like this is focus on the majority and do your best. Uh, You're never going to please everyone. But those people that that came out to have a good time, find out like what made them feel a little bit uncomfortable. And if there's a way that next time we can incorporate that, then let's do that. But also you have to understand like as a promoter or whatever it is, when you're dealing with the large groups of people in this time as well, there is always going to be a very small percentage of people that they're just going to complain anyway. Mm. They're just like, they. those people are not, I don't believe those people wake up and say, I'm going to book a holiday and complain. But their subconsciousness is w- what does that. So like, they just can't help. And remember I said to you, I can always usually tell in the friendship group which one that is. Mm. I can use, If I meet a group of people and I just listen to them talk, 
I can always see, usually, which one in that friendship group is the one who's going straight on the internet. Anything that is a small bit of a problem, straight on the internet, straight in the group, straight wherever it is, and thumbing it mm. to pieces. But you can't, like, what can you do with that? All you can do is just show them some love and, and um, respectfully, in some way, kind of hope that they don't really come again. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> those are the ones that you're not going to be able to, but you just, they're not going to be able to please them. They're not going to be able to please them. So you lose them, but you, you make peace with the fact that, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to lose you now. And that's fine. And if I see you, then naturally I'm going to be like, oh, I thought, mm. you know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah, the response wasn't actually good. The response was phenomenal. Mm. Like the majority of people that came over were literally on a vibe of like, and they had such a good time and that felt really good. And and as well, like, I just wanted everyone to be safe. I wanted everyone to feel safe. Mm. I wanted everyone to come feel safe, enjoy it as best as they can, and then get home safely. Yeah. And then we can enjoy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because if you, if, when, but anyway, I keep saying it, but when you see the after movie, as in the videos that we post from the weekend, you'll understand that there was a sense of, big sense of community. Also, shout out you lot for being patient and allowing me to walk around with my camera. Yeah. I was with my camera 24 seven. So like, I'm just in people's faces and people are welcoming. Some girls are a bit like, mm. but then when I show them the picture, they're like, oh, okay. All of a sudden they want to pose for man. So yeah, that was nice as well, man. And I'm walking past bare people and all I'm hearing is cameraman days. Are you Robert? You're probably taking this seriously, innit? I'm like, come on, man. Wait. But then the, what I don't like is you man that are just tapping me like, Giving me the nudge, like to say, yeah, take my picture. Relax. I'm yeah, <laughs> no, you, don't, you don't do that. You don't do so that. I don't do it like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Look over there. Let me catch you from far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, Tays, I'm ready to pose. Nah, Barry, that was getting. So, would you be ready to pose? I, I'm ready to take the picture. No, 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 no. I'm not that kind of photographer. I'll catch the moment. And then, obviously, if I have caught a moment, I'm not going to run you down. I'll post it. But then, if you want your picture, message me. Yeah. Shots by Tays is the Instagram. Shots by Tays. Put yeah, it on the screen. Know. Come on. Um, and yeah, well, let's let's just try and see how the end of the year. Naturally, if R&B and slow jams isn't for you, then don't work. Like, obviously, enjoy the conversation and that, but don't force it because we've got other things. We're doing other things. You can come to other stuff. Like, come to the other stuff. You don't, like, respectfully, this isn't one of them ones where this is just a different. Do you get what I'm saying? Your and consistency is so cold. Huh? Your consistency is so cold. Time. You know why? Because I've got a video where he's, he's walking off saying, it's not one of them ones. It's, it's not. just not one of them ones. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. You're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. It's just going to be a bit mad for you. You're in the wrong environment. And I get it. Like, you might want to see y'all or you, women might want to, whatever it is, they might want to hear something different. Like, I don't know what it is, yeah, but yeah, like this one, it's not one of them one. You know what I mean? And I would much rather have less people than have a, ba a bag of the... Oh uh, yeah, bef <clears throat> before we go, yeah, quickly, quickly. Oh, um, can I just say as well, Slick, you had a howler. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You had an absolute stink. Hey, no. listen, if there was someone Ooh, that was supposed to... I have not heard from Slick. If there was someone that was supposed to be there that you wasn't there... Had an, I know you're watching this. You had an apps. Do you know what? You know what, you know what I always talk about with the Buju thing? When I say, oh, like, yeah, Buju yeah, had yeah, the yeah. thing, whatever, and I took a book in, and I didn't go to the experience. And now... What happens is all I hear is people talking about the Buju experience, but the money that I made from the booking, I don't even know now. what I did with it. That's how I you feel about I'm the saying? first Afro Nation. Because I had the opportunity it? to go, but, but it was like, I had my daughter that weekend, that week, it was my time to have my daughter. And I, was, and I had the money to fly my daughter and my mum to Portugal. So they could crash where they're crashing while I go rave quickly right, right. and go back. I had it, but <laughs> but it was like, every day was passing. I'm messaging Marv like, bro, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. And it just got to the point where it was like, it just didn't get done. Yeah. When I heard and saw what I go on, I was fuming. So I went the year after and I got the experience I wanted to, but it wasn't the first one. Yeah. The one that I was invited to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, what I wanted to say is shout out Fashion Outlaws on TikTok. They did a video with their dapping tens at Medasia. Man got a little feature and that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah, yeah. I see, I see that. That's it. <laughs> hey, they caught me with my camera, but um, I didn't expect the video to do what it did. You know, you got American girls saying, "Raw, what you came and I lit like that." <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, shout out them as well, man. But yeah, all um, in all, man, ten, ten, man. Yeah, man, we had a great time. We had a great time. We'll come back and pod probably next week or something because I know that there's a lot going on Diddy's in jail 
they're, they're cooking shits and kegs at the moment. Um, who, what else is happening? Who else? What, something else? What else happening? Ronaldo hit how many flipping subscribers on YouTube? It, 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 no, no, whoa, whoa. Nah, he's, he's, he's up there now with like big numbers and he just announced his flipping YouTube the other day. I think yes, we're going man. into the space where a lot of the celebrities now have to show us they have a personality. Yeah, yeah, they have to. definitely. For their products to sell, we need to see more. Um, <laughs> Nines Nine is saying that he's signing out. He's got a project coming up. We need to discuss that at some point. Krepton Conan is back outside with Kings. Did you see Thing? Can't wait to hear Krepton that. Chips. Yeah. Daily Duppy. Do you know what as well? I love that. Can I say, yeah, the picture of 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 um, Krept and Chip together, they look like two absolute superheroes. Come when on. I saw that, Skin I didn't realise, when I saw them two together, I didn't realise I needed to see that. You know them ones? Mm. I didn't, when I saw them two together like that by the microphone, I thought, I didn't realise I needed to see Krept and Chip by a microphone together. Let's speculate though. So Krept and Chip, Conan and who? I don't know. I've been thinking about that. Yeah, Conan and who? I don't know. Because they, surely that's going to happen. Hey, I, don't Cones. Know, I don't know who. Huh? Cones, you're my guy. Take your time. When you decide to find your tag team, make sure it's the right one. I don't know who. I don't know who, bro. Because like Blade and Trap, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of duos out there. You like, yeah. you, you like, well, to be fair, it's not the same in the same realm. I liked Blade and Nux, actually. I, was, Blux... but I, we, I, know this, oh. I was just going to say that. I was going to yeah. say it's not in the same realm because Nux is not like a yeah, yeah. punchline rapper like that. But yeah. I was just going to say that you would like Blade and Nux. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Conan, yeah, take your time. Take your time. Nux played me a tune time ago with him and Blade. They didn't pull it out. The tune's so mad, but... Um, Shannon Sharp as well. He's out there <laughs> chopping. <laughs> this Don was out there just having sex. On live. live, man, are not believing that he actually that he did that by accident. There's a lot of there's a there's a there's a there's a three step process to going on live, no? Do you know what? <laughs> it's My, not just a button you press. Yeah, you have to like. What was he resting on his phone or something? Like, you know I mean? Yeah, because like, when you go into Instagram, yeah. Firstly, when you go into Instagram, you gotta even hope that you're by the the normal page. Because I could be on my... When I go into my Instagram, it could just be in my DMs. So I've got to come out of the DMs. I'm not going to lie. It takes a bite. How do you guys go out of that? But you could do it, though. I'm not going to lie. You yeah, story. If, if you had any story and done that. How do you go on it? So look, when I press... Look, as soon as I press live, See, it does say it does say three, two, one straight it? away. If you're on the host, yeah. Like, oh. oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's how I did it. Yeah. So yeah. you could actually do it. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, and it went on. You could have done yeah, that. Yeah. So you could have done that. And then press the button. People are saying that he was. They're trying. He's trying to eradicate that he's not gay and all these type of things and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about that. I don't know. Um, because I don't, I don't just, know about just to none. be clear as well, I think we all know in this day and age that like, just because this, there's nothing wrong with this, by the way, just because you have sex with the opposite sex doesn't mean that you're not gay. People be be gaying and doing that type of stuff, but also you can. There's another thing as well. It's called bi bisexuality. You can mm. be bisexual. You can like both. And that is completely, if that's your thing, then that's your thing. But uh, I, to go to all of those lengths to do that is interesting to me. It could just be a genuine mistake. Um, but what else uh, would we have missed as well? Oh yeah, of course, the Super Bowl, Kendrick. Listen, we'll get back and we'll just we'll pod all of that. I think P Poet is taking a little bit of time off. So, um, you might need to step in a couple of times, Maji. Who, me? Oh, me? Yeah. That was you. Oh, that was you uh, saying that. I got work to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might shout Mitch as well and a few others. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. listen, um, I got to fly. Love, Maji. Come on. Well done, brother. Well done, too. Every time. And to everyone that did come, thank you. And for everyone, all those that listened, appreciate you too. And um, love and respect in all aspects. Go yeah? follow my YouTube, man. I'm going to be posting updates vlogs all of that behind the scenes of what's going on and obviously because i'm always with chucky chucky's obviously there as well so yeah go follow the youtube taser black love